Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one rational equation challenge and I will demonstrate three different methods to solve this. Third one is the conventional one, synthetic division method and rational root theorem. So let's get started by method number one. First point, denominator cannot be equal to zero. It is not equal to zero. If you will see only the discriminant, it is coming out 9 minus 36 which is negative. So complex solution will be there. So no conditions applied. Let us cross multiply the given terms. So I can write LHS as x plus 3 times x square minus 3x plus 9. And right hand side is x square minus 3 minus x whole square plus 10. You can see left hand side is one identity written a plus b a square let me write here a plus b a square minus a b plus b square so this is formula of a cube plus b cube so i can write straight away our equation x cube plus 3 cube right hand side is as it is x square minus x minus 3 whole square plus 10. Now I can write 3 cube as 27. So it will be x cube plus 27 equal to x square minus x minus 3 whole square plus 10. Now 27 minus 10, 17 will be left. So let me write here x square minus x minus 3 whole square equal to x cube plus 17. Now I will split 17 as 9 plus 8 and 9 I will consider 3 square, 8 I will consider 2 cube. Let's do it. 3 square I will take LHS and 2 cube would, would be as it is in the RHS. So I can write x square minus x minus 3 whole square minus 3 square and right hand side x cube plus 2 cube. This is one algebraic manipulation. Now see what we'll get after that a square minus b square in the LHS. This formula and right hand side it is formula of a cube plus b cube. Let's apply both the formulas in the respective sides. Left hand side I will be writing a minus b times a plus b. So I will be writing x square minus x minus 3 plus 3. This is a plus b done. Now a minus b x square minus x minus 3 minus 3. Left hand side is over. Right hand side a cube plus b cube a plus b a square plus b square minus a b. So minus 2x plus 4. I can cancel minus 3 and plus 3. Now I will simplify a bit. x square minus x. Take x common. So x x minus 1. Here we can write it is x square minus x minus 6. Done. Take all the term to LHS. So minus of x plus 2. And this quadratic bracket x square minus 2x plus 4 equal to 0. Now I will factorize x square minus x minus 6 this bracket so i can write x x minus 1 as it is then this bracket can be written as x plus 2 times x minus 3 check x times x x square x times minus 3 minus 3x three 2 times x 2x minus 3x plus 2x minus x 2 times minus 3 minus 6 done minus x plus 2 x square minus 2x plus 4 equal to 0. Now x plus 2 is clearly common. So I will take x plus 2 common out. So in this bracket I can write x, x minus 1, x minus 3 minus x square minus 2x plus 4 right hand side is 0. Now I will simplify this curly bracket. So we have to take the product of all and then we will simplify. 
So after simplification, what we'll have, I am writing directly. X plus 2 would be as it is. Then this bracket will give us one cubic polynomial. X cube minus 5x square plus 5x minus 4. Right hand side is 0. Now you can use RRT and SDM from here. But I will use factorization itself. I can split this minus 5x square as minus 4x square. Let me write x cube minus 4x square minus x square plus 5x minus 4. This is as it is. Now I can take x square common. So it would be x minus 4 left. And here I can write minus common. So x square minus 5x plus 4. Now I will factorize x square minus 5x plus 4. So I can write next step as, let me write here x plus 2 as it is. Then I will write, let me write one time x square x minus 4 minus x square minus 5x plus 4. This was our last equation equal to 0. Now I will factorize this one. I can write it as x minus 1 x minus 4. You can check x square minus 4x minus 1x. So minus 5x and plus 4. x square x minus 4. Now I can take x minus 4 common. So it will become x plus 2, x minus 4, then in bracket x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Let us conclude our solutions. I will write if this is equal to 0, then we will get x is equal to minus 2. When x minus 4 will be 0, we will be having solution x is equal to 4. And when this quadratic equal to 0, we have to check discriminant. So let's check whether we are having real solution or not. So delta value will be equal to minus 1 a square minus 4 times 1 times 1. So it is coming out 1 minus 4 minus 3. This is negative. So complex solution will be here. We'll get. So I will reject this solution. So only real accepted solution would be x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 4. Now our method number 2. Let me write here method 2. And I will begin from x square minus x minus 3 whole square equal to x cube plus 17 it was. The game of splitting only. So I will split this time 17 as 16 plus 1. This is the easiest way. x square minus x minus 3 whole square. 16 I will write here as 4 square. This 16 will take to the LHS. And right hand side would be x cube plus 1. Now again difference of 2 squares. a plus b a minus b. Let us apply. So x square minus x minus 3 plus 4 in one bracket x square minus x minus 3 minus 4 in second bracket. In RHS we can write it is x plus 1 a q plus b q formula x square minus x plus 1. Once I will simplify x square minus x plus 1. In one bracket, second bracket, x square minus x minus 7. Take all the term to LHS. Minus of x plus 1, x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see one complete quadratic bracket is common. Which one? x square minus x plus 1 plus 1. So I will take x square minus x plus 1 common x square minus x minus 7 minus x minus 1. Right hand side is 0. 
सो आई कैन राइट हेयर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स माइनस एट प्रोडक्ट विद एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ यू कैन फैक्टराइज दिस सेकेंड ब्रैकेट स्ट्रेट अवे सो वी कैन राइट इट इज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स प्लस वन एंड हेयर वी कैन राइट एक्स प्लस टू टाइम्स एक्स माइनस टू एक्स माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो यू कैन चेक एक्स टाइम्स एक्स एक्स स्क्वायर टू एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स सो माइनस टू एक्स टू टाइम्स माइनस फोर इज माइनस एट सो दिस इज द वे मीन्स वी विल पुट दिस इक्वल टू जीरो so we will get two quadratic uh, two complex solutions and from here i will be writing x equal to minus 2 from here i will be writing x is equal to 4 so let me write here x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0 complex solution as method number 1 and from the two brackets i can write x is equal to minus 2 and 4 two real solutions accepted now method number 3 the conventional one if i want to apply rrt and synthetic division method then we can use this method number 3 so what i will do i will i will simply expand let me write here first the equation x square minus x minus 3 whole square equal to x cube plus 17 literally expand so i will be writing a plus b plus c whole square formula a square plus b square plus c square minus 2ab plus 2ab formula wise so here it will be minus 2x cube then here it would be 6x then here it would be minus 6x square okay right hand side x cube plus 17 once we will simplify this we will be having one quadratic equation x power 4 Minus 3x cube, minus 5x square, plus 6x, minus 8, equal to zero. Now we can use rational root theorem. Let's find out the eligible factors of 8. So I can write here plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8. So I can check. by putting one by one values as our leading coefficient is plus minus 1 so ratio would be the same so if i will apply x is equal to 1 is it true no 1 minus 3 minus 5 plus 6 minus 8 it is not making rhs zero minus 1 it won't be plus 2 it is not let me put x is equal to minus 2 so minus 2 if you will put 16 plus 24 Minus twenty, minus twelve, minus eight. Is it true? Yes, it is true. Twenty-four plus sixteen, forty. Twenty plus twelve, thirty-two plus eight, forty. With negative sign. So yes, it is zero. So that means x is equal to minus two is our base solution. Now we can apply synthetic division method. Let's write all the coefficient of quadratic equation. So let me write here our base solution minus two. coefficients of quadratic equation i will write which is 1 minus 3 then it was minus 5 6 and negative 8 put one line over there leading coefficient 1 as it is minus 2 times 1 minus 2 minus 5 minus 2 times minus 5 10 5 minus 2 times 5 minus 10 minus 4 Minus two times minus four, eight zero. Now we have coefficient for cubic equation. So x cube minus five x square plus five x minus four equal to zero. Again, rational root theorem. Plus minus one, plus minus two, plus minus four will be the eligible factors. Now let me put x is equal to one two. So four I will be putting. It will satisfy this cubic equation because of four cube is sixty four minus four square is sixteen five eighty plus twenty minus four. You can see sixty four plus twenty is eighty four minus eighty minus four is negative eighty four. 
So this is making our equation zero. That means this is also one base solution. This was first one. This is second one. Now I will write all the coefficient of this cubic equation. So I can write one minus five, five minus four. Put one line over there. One would be as it is. Four times one, four minus one. Four times minus one, minus four. One four times one, four zero. So here we are having x square minus x plus one equal to zero. If you will check only the discriminant, then it is one minus four, which is minus three. So no need to check because it will generate. Complex solutions, so we will reject. So which one we will accept? X equal to four, x equal to minus two. So our real solutions are minus two and plus four. It is. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.